Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new, thank you so so much for being here. I'm starting this week a little bit less professional, normally I'd put my tripod up over there but the light, I don't know if you can catch the back of my chair but is appalling in the office. It's so so bright which I mean I'm not complaining about because the sun is lovely but it does make recording quite difficult um so i'm just gonna chat with you guys here i'm sorry the background isn't as pretty as it sometimes is but we're gonna go with it this week i thought wasn't gonna be very productive or very busy but it's actually gonna turn into quite a creative week which i'm excited about um it is my birthday on thursday by the time you see this it will be the thursday coming but for me right now it's a week tomorrow so yeah i decided i wanted to do something with the shop for my birthday um, and i put a poll on my instagram whether people wanted a sale a exclusive item or like lucky dip boxes and surprisingly a lot of people voted for lucky dip and exclusive item which i really really wasn't expecting so i didn't think about that because now i've got to be creative and thankfully i have an idea i'm going to do a kind of spring themed birthday exclusive bundle so the items will come to the shop but you can only get them kind of on my birthday week as a discounted bundle that's how it's going to be exclusive is that's the only way to get everything together for like a cheaper price um because i really don't want to limit myself like because i've created something that i'm hopefully going to love and i didn't want to kind of cut that off after maybe just a few days or a week of offering it so i thought what's the best way that i can offer it kind of with some sort of exclusivity is that a real word i feel like it's a real word also please excuse my skin my skin is appalling at the moment yeah so i thought that was like the best way to do it is that people are still getting some sort of i suppose an exclusive price if they order like on my birthday week um i haven't decided exactly when it's going to be available um, and how long for just yet but hopefully by the end of this vlog I'll definitely know that because next week is creeping up very very quickly yeah so it's going to be a spring theme I'm hoping to add a little Pekka penguin goodie in there because I know how much people love Pekka and currently I have a little illustration of a watering can and a hedgehog I have thought about tried doing a hedgehog for so so long but today it seems to have worked so that's where it is at the moment I'm thinking little mini print maybe a matching sticker maybe some sort of mini memo pad these are all maybes by the way <laughs> um possibly like a bookmark um some sort of sticker sheet that could be fun i haven't done a sticker sheet in a very very long time i've got a few ideas i just kind of need to bring them together and yeah just hope that it's something people really love and want to buy i just thought it'd be nice to do something for my birthday because i don't think i did anything for my birthday last year it's not like a big birthday like 24 not it's not a huge one uh, next year's a little bit bigger also i wanted to share with you i got some new boxes for the shop like we're sending out orders i got some little square ones let me grab one to show you so i got these little square boxes because i was using ones like double the size of this to put well, maybe not quite double almost double the size of this um to put like individual pins in and i just felt like it was a waste of packaging if someone ordered one pin or one badge or anything that needs to go in a box one key ring where the key rings sit in this they should just fit so i ordered some of these and they're really really cute and it, yeah it would just save on packaging and things i don't really know why i didn't do it sooner because one they're adorable and two it's just it's just nice and they're a little bit cheaper as well i know it's an extra box to buy for the shop but the packaging used when someone just orders a pin or something is actually better for the environment and better for like financially as well so yeah i got those i really really love them and i also got a restock of the bigger boxes um but yeah hopefully i'll have some creative footage to share with this week hopefully some drawing because it's been a long time since I shared drawing on the vlog. Odin is off to bark at something. I'm going to stop blabbing now. I'm very excited to start the week and share with you my plans. And I'll catch up with you guys in a bit.
Okay, so I just went on Instagram Live to share the process of me drawing. I know I said I was gonna do it on the vlog and I did put my camera up, so I should have some footage. I just completely got in the zone. I just forgot to move it and it probably turned off a few times. Um, but hopefully there's some good footage for the vlog as well. But if you would like to see some more of the kind of coloring in process, that's on my Instagram on like the IGTV section. Um, there's a couple of hours of footage there to, to see if, if, if you're interested, of course. But let me turn you around and show you where we are so far because I'm so, so in love with it. I think it's gone so well. Okay, so here is the illustration. This is the colour palette that I'd ended up choosing. So I just kind of coloured it in roughly and then moved it to the side so that I could colour in properly. And I've just finished curling colour, I can't say that word, colouring it in. I still need to change all of the colours of like the sketch colour, see it's quite red here because um, I use like a kind of browny red colour to sketch with. So I need to go over and change that but this is where we are so far. I'm so happy with it and I do have a little idea to show you. Um, so I think this is going to be an exclusive item in the box. Again this is so rough but I'm thinking of a spring stamps sticker sheet so obviously you can't use these as actual stamps because you have to pay for stamps to send things in the post but they could be really really good for decorating parcels or putting in your scrapbook anything like that or just sealing things it could be quite nice so I did a little rough sticker sheet and this is possibly going to be exclusive just to the box um because it's different and yeah I've never done anything like it before and then we've got and then we've got my rough ideas, so I literally just mapped it out, but basically we're going to have a mini print with a matching sticker. I'm hoping to make some sort of mini memo pad, I think that could be really, really cute. And then again, the Spring Stamps exclusive sticker. I'd like to bring a peck of something in if I have time, um, and also maybe like a bookmark. And I am also thinking of maybe adding some sweets or something to the package, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but that's kind of where I am with it, um, but it's looking really cute. I'm so, so happy with it. We've got some little ladybugs. We've also got a little snail over here. I just think they're really cute, some bumblebees, and yeah, I'm excited to kind of shade it and make it perfect, because it's looking so, so nice so far, and I mean, how cute is the little hedgehog? I can't, it's so cute. Oh, I love it.
Gosh, the camera's so high. <laughs> Let's try and bring you down a little bit. Oh, I can't wait to get my new tripod. My mum has got me a new tripod for my birthday and I'm very, very excited about it. Welcome to my Friday. I've done a bit of filming today. I tidied the office today. I actually had my mum round today and she sat on the little sofa and Odin and her doggy kind of played, well, one is much older than the other so play is a very odd concept but i did get some tidying done that i so so needed to get done in here and i did pack some orders too which is really really lovely but we are already at friday i have no idea where the week's gone it's gone so so quickly i feel like because i've had stuff to be doing into like stuff to think about it's just literally flown by um I did want to share with where did I put it? I did want to share with you a little illustration that I just did. I think I showed you how far along I'd got with the watering can hedgehog illustration. I haven't worked on that yet anymore today, but that is my plan for later. Um, I'm actually seeing my lovely friend Mim, who owns Tiny Teddy Co for a coffee in I'm gonna have to leave in about half an hour, but I think I'm gonna do a tiny bit of drawing before I go, just kind of take a breather 
um, before heading out. And I've had a little idea of how I can incorporate Peck Penguin into this uh, birthday box. So this is the roughest sketch ever, but we've got little Peck Penguin with a daffodil on his head and there's gonna be a little bee. And I'm thinking of combining that with a notebook design um he looks like an egg there but basically he'll be like sat at the bottom and there'll be some bees maybe some clouds or something as a little bookmark i think that could be really really lovely i i think it's gonna be so cute so i'm gonna at least try and get a better version of this sketch done before i go um but i really wanted to share it with you because it's so cute <laughs> so cute i love it so much So I need to head off in a minute, but this is the kind of stage that we're at. It's definitely not quite how I want it to look, but it's definitely better than the initial sketch. I just don't know what Peck is going to be holding here or if I should change his, what do you call these? Flippers? I'm going to call them his arms because I can't remember what they're called. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should move them or if I should have them holding something, but this kind of look up the top is definitely cuter i like how the petals kind of flick off a little bit um and then a little bumblebee i think it's looking really sweet i just need to adjust it because it's not looking quite like pecker like his head is definitely too big and too like wide but i'm really happy with it so far and i think it could be very very cute so i'm gonna have a little fiddle around with it later and just see see what i think could look a little bit better but i've just drawn some flowers here for now what i think about what on earth i could put there maybe bring in the watering can from the other design i'm not sure yet i'll i'll work it out i'm sure it is now the weekend i don't normally film on saturdays i try my best to remember to finish the vlog on a friday but i didn't remember last night because i went and saw the lovely mim and then i got home and i carried on drawing basically and i finished the pecker with a daffodil on his head i still have more drawing to be doing and things but how cute I'll make sure to do a little zoom over so you can see that properly because I can never hold it up to the, the camera properly. But yeah, so that's going to be one of the stickers in the box. I did say the one's going to be something Pekka related and I think that's also going to go onto a bookmark if I've got enough bookmark paper to make them in-house. I'm really excited. Um, I know that people love Pekka so I just had to include him in the birthday box because it felt very wrong not to. So currently we've got a print, a matching sticker of the print which is the watering can with the hedgehog 
a little mini memo pad that I need to design um, and that's going to be hedgehog related. Also a sticker sheet which is going to be spring stamps which I showed you in another part of the vlog. We've also got that sticker, a bookmark just like that sticker. Did I say that? I don't know. And also hopefully I'm going to be working with another, another small business to bring some spring sweets to the box as well it will be a uk only thing unfortunately because i don't really know how all the customs works with sending abroad and they will be optional add-ons so I've, i'm not going to be making any profit off of the sweets of course but because i'm going to set this up as a kind of pre-order it will be like an add-on if you want some sweets and that way i know kind of how much to order um and it just means that hopefully i can support a small business while bringing a birthday box because i thought it'd be fun to add something edible because it's my birthday so Details about the box going live. The box is going to go live on 31st of March and it's going to be open, I think, for about four days. I think that's kind of what I'm going to go for. And then my hope is to get them hopefully shipped out the next week. I just want to make sure that I'm not making loads and loads of stock and then it not selling. I kind of want to get an idea of how many are going to, or how many are bought and how many of each thing that I need to make, if that makes sense. Like with the memo pads, that's gonna be quite time consuming. So for me, it's quite important that I use that time wisely and don't waste materials and time. So yeah, I'm gonna set it up as pre-order. Thursday, the 31st of March, they will be live. Um, I'll probably set them live the night before so that they're ready to go in the morning. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys, cause I know that by the time the next vlog goes up, the boxes probably won't be on sale anymore. Everything other than the sticker sheet is gonna be coming to the shop at a later date, but if you'd like a discounted bundle of goodies, then this box is where you can get it all. I'm very, very excited. I think it's gonna be a really lovely box and it's been so amazing to be drawing again and creating and having my brain tick and things. It's been so, so lovely. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call that the end of the studio vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will speak to you next week. Bye.